friends, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to our Book a Day series. Today is Friday, so it's the last interactive read aloud of our Book a Day week. And my friends, I've had so much fun sharing all of these stories with you this week, and I hope that you've had just as much fun listening to these stories and getting to talk about what's going on in them as well. I would love to do another book a day series for another new week, my friends. So if you have enjoyed these series, please let me know by reaching out to me. You can find all of the ways to contact me down below, and I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you can even suggest some books or stories that you would like to hear read aloud. Well, for today's reading adventure, we have a very fun, colorful read aloud. And I'm wearing my rainbow scarf, and you'll kind of see it matches our doggy friend right here, the little rainbow guy. Well, yesterday's read aloud was Mrs. Phoebe and her elephant, and we talked about how the message was, about celebrating and accepting differences because that's what made people unique and brought happiness. And this book is going to have a similar message, my friends. We are going to learn about actually why it's better to stand out from a crowd and not blend in all of the time. What's most important is being your true self and sharing who you truly are, not trying to match everyone else, right? You want to share something different with the world, not something that someone else has already done. Well, my friends, before I get started, why don't you share what's one thing that's really unique and special about you? Wow, thanks for sharing. You are very unique. Okay, well, I'm ready to jump into today's read aloud. Are you? All right, let's get started then. So today's featured interactive read aloud is Odd Dog Out, written and illustrated by Rob Biddulph. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the cover here, my friends, and what do you notice? Go ahead, tell me about what you see. Yeah, I see some dogs. How many dogs are there? Three. Oh, did you see my dog just walking by in the background? He's actually a new puppy. I just got him in January a few months ago. But back to our story. So I see three dogs. And do you know what type of dogs these are? They kind of look like wiener dogs, right? Wiener dogs are like the little hot dog dogs. Their bodies are long like a hot dog or a wiener. And there's three of them. And I noticed something about what they look like. What do you notice? Yeah, I noticed that two of them look the same, right? The top and the bottom. And then there's this middle one that looks different. How is this middle one different? Yeah, they're all rainbow, right? The other two look like they're wearing suits and all business and serious. And this middle one's got a rainbow scarf. Huh. Almost like this one is the odd dog out. So odd dog out means that there's one dog that's a bit different. It stands out from the other ones. They're a bit odd. Odd is another word for strange. Can you say odd Odd. So odd dog out. Kind of the strange dog that's different. And what's kind of cool about these words, odd dog out, is that they all have the same amount of letters. They're all short words. How many letters do they have? Three. Kind of just like how there's three dogs on the cover. Three words in the title. And each word in the title has three letters. That's a lot of threes, huh? What a coincidence. Okay, so it seems like there's this odd dog out who's a little bit strange, different than the other ones. Hmm. Let's find out what happens. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here is our title page. So remember the title page has the title of the book, Odd Dog Out. And usually it has the author and illustrator on it, Rob Bidolph. But instead, I see some pictures here. I see a little hat, a rainbow hat and a rainbow scarf. I think it probably belongs to that odd dog out, the one who's a little bit different, right? And I've got my rainbow scarf here, too, ready to participate and read along. My friends, if you have anything rainbow to wear, I suggest pausing right now and going ahead and dressing up in all of your rainbow clothes. Because then you'll be in the perfect outfit to read our story. Do you want to go do that? Well, go ahead and push pause if you want to go change into your rainbow outfit. And I'll wait for you. Well, if you changed into your rainbow outfit, go ahead and give me a whirl so I can see the whole thing. You look very rainbowy. Perfect outfit for our interactive read aloud today. You look like you stand out and are very unique. Hey, oh wait, so actually friends, this is our cover page. This page before was just like a pre-cover page, a page before the beginning. So this is the cover page where it has the title, Odd Dog Out, and the author and illustrator. I knew they always have the author and illustrator there. Rob Biddulph. And what do you see going on on this cover page? I see a train, and can you see who's inside the windows? 
I see a bunch of dogs, and all those dogs look like ones that are wearing the suits and the hats, except for one. Can you see the odd dog out? Good eyes, my friends. She is right here. Hmm. Okay, this book looks like it has fun pictures already. We were right. This book has very cool pictures. Let's take a look at this first one. For busy dogs, a busy day of busy work and busy play. Hmm, so I'm hearing that this book has a lot of rhyming, right? Some words that sound the same at the end. For busy dogs, a busy day of busy work and busy play. So day, play, they rhyme. They sound the same. Well, I am taking a look at this picture here, my friends, and I am seeing a lot of dogs. And what do you notice about these dogs? I'm noticing that a lot of them look exactly the same. Like I can't really tell one dog apart from the other, right? It's either they're all wearing suits, which they must be the busy ones, right? Going to work, all dressed up nice in their suit. Or they're all driving a car, but if you look, the cars all kind of look the same, right? Except maybe a different color. And then down here, this is how they play. What sport are they playing? Kind of looks like soccer, right? But even their uniforms are different colors, but they all look exactly the same. Oh, and in the background here, I noticed the train. And if you look really closely, if you look in the windows, you can see the little dogs. And all the dogs are wearing the exact same thing. Got their business suit on. So in this town, I don't see any odd dog out. They actually all look uniform. And uniform is another way to say they all look the same. Hmm. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of patterns on this page, huh? So a lot of repeating pictures. Swimmer. So there's some swimmer dogs. Sailor. Soldier. Scout. So scout, like a camp scout, someone who goes in the wilderness. So these are some different things that all these dogs do. But what do you notice about each of these dogs and each of these different activities? Kind of like the other page, right? They all look the same. So if they're doing one activity, they all look the same doing it. Swimming, sailing, being a soldier, scout. Their tents are exactly the same. Their outfits are exactly the same. My friends, when you go swimming to swimming class or the beach or something, does everyone wear the same exact swimsuit? No, right? Usually people have all kinds of different swimsuits. Or if you've ever seen boats around, like a picture, or maybe if you live near the ocean, does everyone have the same exact boat and wear the same exact outfit? Usually not. Usually they're a bit all different, right? Well, it seems like in this doggy town, though, everyone just does the same. They all blend in. No dog stands out. What do you think about that, my friends? It's almost kind of like wearing a uniform if you go to school. Do you wear a uniform when you go to school so that all of you match and wear the same thing? So it might be kind of like that. If you don't wear a uniform, you can imagine what it might be like if you had to wear the same thing. Well, it's kind of like wearing a uniform, except it looks like for these dogs, they have to have a uniform for everything they do. They always have to blend in. So they all blend in. No dogs stand out. Wait. What do you notice about this page? Do they all blend in? Looks like there's a dog who stands out. Maybe our odd dog out? Huh. But wait, look closer. Can you see one dog behaving differently? Point to it, my friends. Someone on this busy street is dancing to a different beat. So hear that rhyming again, street, beat. So dancing to a different beat is another way to say this dog is not following what all the other dogs are doing, right? She's got her own dancing beat going on. My friends, go ahead and show me your own dance move right now. Ready? Three, two, one. Awesome moves. Well, in this world of dogs where they all look the same, there's one right here who looks a bit different. Hmm. What do you think the other dogs are thinking? Maybe. Ooh, so here are these pictures again, but this time, my friends, I'm noticing that instead of all of them looking the same, all of them looking uniform, there's one dog who's a little bit different in all of them. Let's see if you can spot him. When they fly high, so go ahead and lift your hand up high. <gasps> this dog flies low. 
So go ahead, drop your hand low. And there she is. When they say kick, this dog says throw. That's the complete opposite. It's very sad. Cue the violins. So sometimes when things are sad, they play sad violin music. Can you make a sad tune, my friends? Pretend you're playing a violin and sing a sad tune. Maybe. That sounds very sad. So it's very sad. Cue the violin. But this small dog does not fit in. She is quite different. It's true. She sniffs. I've tried my best. But I'm not made like all the rest. So how does she feel about being so different than the other dogs? Feel sad about it, huh? How can you tell? Yeah, she's hanging her head. Her body is all kind of slumped over. Her eyes are looking down. Those are all clues of sadness. And that's why she says I've made up my mind to leave this town, my home, behind. So she's going to leave because she doesn't feel like she belongs. On her own and out of place, she sighs a sigh and packs her case. Do you hear those rhyming words, my friends? Place and case. So there she goes. She's leaving her home. And it looks like, my friends, where did she live? How would you describe the place that she lives? What do you notice in the background, the setting of the story? Yeah, it seems like she lives in the city, right? Because there's all these buildings, these tall buildings, lots of cars. Well, she's leaving. My friends, where do you think she's going to go? Let's see. Through winter, springtime, summer, fall. So my friends, let's take a look at this page because this is such a cool illustration, a cool way that the illustrator who drew the picture shows her going through the different seasons. So this also tells me though that she's been walking and searching for a new place for a long time. It took her all through winter, springtime, summer, fall to find a new place. That's like a whole year. And I know that it's a different season because of the words, but also because the background changes, right? There's snow in the winter. What do you notice in spring? And in summer? And how do you know this looks like fall? Because of all the leaves. And you might have even pointed this out already, my friends. But not only does the background change, but also what the dog is wearing changes too. Did you notice about her outfits? What do you notice? Yeah, her outfits kind of match the season. In winter, she's got her scarf and sweater. Springtime, she's got the flowers. Summer, a floaty for the pool. And in fall, she's bundled up again because it's kind of chilly, right? Oh, she's still traveling from ocean deep. Can you see her through the windows? To mountain tall. So she went from way down below in the ocean to way up high in the mountains. Can you make little ocean waves down here? Yeah, with your hand. And then high up to the mountains. Go up. Boop. Make like a little point. She went from low to high through all the seasons. And I think she's finally found a place to stay. She walks till she can walk no more. Is this the place she's looking for? And if I read the sign, it says, Welcome to fabulous Doggywood. This sign in Doggywood, my friends, what place does this remind you of? Kind of reminds me of Hollywood, huh? And what do you know about Hollywood? It's kind of where, like, all the actors and actresses are, but people there are also usually very, like, unique and different, right? They're actors and actresses and like to pretend and be different. I wonder if our friend here is going to fit in. What do you think? Wait a minute, my friends. What do you notice about all of these dogs? They all look like our dog friend here, right? Except now they all look like our dog friend. So now all of them look exactly the same. Uniform, right? Does, does our dog friend stand out anymore? She blends right in, right? She looks just like the rest of them. Well, bless my bow wow, can it be? A hundred others just like me. I play guitar. I ride a bike. 
I fit right in. We're all alike. So how does Dog feel about looking like everybody else now? She feels kind of happy about it, right? Now she finally fits in, has people who like to do the same exact things as her. Huh. And this picture kind of reminds me of the other picture in the very beginning, right? Except instead of business suits, they're all wearing colorful scarves. And they're all riding, instead of cars, they've got limousines because they're in doggy wood, right? They're all riding bikes. And what are they all doing in the windows? Playing guitars. And they don't play soccer here. What do they play? Basketball. So many cool details in these pictures, huh? Wait a minute. What do you notice here now, my friends? It looks like there's another odd dog out. And this one doesn't look like any of the other dogs I've seen so far, huh? Not the business dogs, not these doggy wood dogs. But wait, look closer. Can you see one dog behaving differently? Point to the dog. Somebody this afternoon is whistling to a different tune. So my friends, even in a place where all of them dress rainbowy and colorful, there's still a dog that's different. That doesn't quite fit in an odd dog out. Well, our dog friend is meeting this odd dog out. What do you think they're talking about? Those are some good ideas. Well, here's something she knows all about. A classic case of odd dog out. Poor thing, she says. I feel for you. I once was an outsider, too. So she's talking to this dog and saying, I know how you feel. But then this one says, Oh, not at all. You've got it wrong. Huh? I really feel like I belong. What? How do they feel like they belong if they look so different? I love to stand out from the crowd. And so should you. Stand tall. Be proud. So this dog likes to stand out and be different. They're actually proud of it. They say stand tall. So my friends right now, go ahead and stand up tall. And be proud. Stick out your chest. Maybe put your hands on your hips. Stand tall and proud. And be proud, especially if you're wearing your rainbow outfit that makes you so unique right now. So our dog friend here, she tilts her head. So tilts means kind of like puts it to the side. Go ahead and tilt your head. She tilts her head. She pricks her ears, so her ears kind of stand up. And suddenly, it's crystal clear. That dog is right. It's plain to see. There's nothing wrong with being me. Wait, so she's realizing something, my friends. What does she realize? She's realizing that there was nothing wrong with standing out and being different. That's just who she was. And she should be kind of proud of that, right? After all, that was her home. That's kind of where she belongs. What do you think she's going to do, my friends? Stay in Doggywood or do you think she might go back? Let's find out. Well, I see an airplane here. What do you think that means? She's going to go back home? Her little tail begins to wag. She smiles a smile and grabs her bag. I'm sorry, but I have to fly. Good luck, my friend. They wave goodbye. From night and moon to light and sun, her journey home has just begun. So this is another cool way, my friends, to show how she's traveling and how time is passing. It was nighttime, and then back way over here, she's traveling, and now it's daytime. She's heading home, and do you see home over here? You see the towers, the tall buildings, the city. And my friends, did you notice these other dogs in the airplane? What clue do they give to where she's going? They're all wearing those business suits, right? Those black jackets. This gives us a clue that she's going back home. Oh, look familiar. For busy dogs, a busy day. But look who's back. Hip, hip, hooray. So how do they feel about their friend being back? Sounds like they're pretty happy, right? Well, they are happy. They cheer, they clap, they whoop. My friends, can you give me a whoop? They shout, we've really missed our odd dog out. You've made us all appreciate that being different is really great. So she made, so she made them appreciate that different is great? It's true, look closer. Can you see more dogs behaving differently? Do you see them, my friends? What are some things that you notice? 
there are all sorts of little different things going on, right? This one's all yellow. And some of them just have different ties on, adding some more color, right? It's kind of like Rainbow Dog, but so rainbowy. Oh, look at this one's hair. Got some jewelry on. And even here, got some different clothes going on. Oh my goodness, and now look at them, friends. Each one a doggy superstar. So blaze a trail. Be who you are. The end. So what happened to these busy, busy dogs in the end, my friends? Do they all look exactly the same again? No, right now they all wear their own unique outfit. And my friends, what kind of dogs do you see here? There are so many different kinds. Go ahead and share with me a few that you see that you like. You pointed out so many great ones. I'm going to show you ones that I see and you see if you can find them. You can point to them on the screen if you'd like. Are you ready? I spy a farmer dog. There they are. Okay, how about I spy a... Bunny dog. Ooh, you were quick at that one. Are you ready? How about I spy a crocodile dog? Oh my gosh, that one was kind of easy. How about this one? Are you ready? Last one. I spy a rock star dog. Yep, right over here. My friends, and if you want to pause this page and play I Spy with a friend or a family member reading this with you, or if you want to go ahead and check out some more of the dogs, go ahead and push pause and go ahead and take a look at the other dogs or play I Spy and see which ones you can find. There are so many cool dogs on this page. Our illustrator, Rob Bidolf, is so creative, huh? Well, also, though, friends, just remember that this page is showing us how awesome it is to just be who you truly are and be unique, be different, and stand tall and be proud of it. Because look how much fun this is to look at, right? How much fun it is when everyone just acts themselves. They get to share who they truly are and people get to experience and meet different kinds of people. Okay, well, that's the end of this read aloud. What a fun, colorful reading adventure that was, my friends. Tell me what your favorite part of this story was. I definitely enjoyed all of the pictures, and I really recommend going back through and looking at all of the details in the pictures because there's so many even smaller things that we missed that you could check out and see. But I loved all the pictures and especially the end where they all wore their cool outfits. And I liked how they had patterns throughout the pictures. But what I also really appreciated again was just the message of the story, what this story was trying to teach us. Can you go ahead and share with me, my friends, what did you learn from this story? Or what was this story trying to teach us? Yeah, I was trying to teach us that we should be proud of who we are, Stan Talk. Ready? Try it with me. Stand tall. So stand up. Shoulders back. Be proud. Chest out. And just be proud of who you are. Don't be afraid to dress differently or act differently or say something different. That's just what makes you unique. And if you don't blend in with everyone else, that's fine, my friends. You don't need to look like everyone else because they already look like that. You should look like something different. And just like the dogs in this book, People come to realize that being different and standing out is actually really cool. And people like to hang out with people who are proud of who they are. Okay, my friends. Well, usually, again, this is where the craft would come in. And I am working on a very fun craft with this one where we'll get to decorate your own wiener dog to make them as unique and representative of you. So you'd get to decorate it in any kind of outfit. And it'd be so fun to see all those different dog outfits. If you want to go ahead and try it out yourself, you can just draw a picture of a little wiener dog and color and decorate it. And I'd love to see what awesome costumes you come up with for your dog. But I'm working on that craft and hope to get it out to share with all of you soon. If you want to find out when the craft is uploaded or if you want to ask me any questions or share any thoughts and ideas, my friends, please always reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, on the blog, here on YouTube. I know sometimes it's a little hard with the comments. Uh, sometimes they don't let you because of YouTube's new rules. But you can always reach out to me via email too and I'd love to hear from you and I always reply. Again, you can find all those social media links down below. And please be checking on those platforms or on the description here because I will update it to let you know when the new craft is out.
Well, my friends, that's it, though, for today's Read Aloud and for our Book a Day series of the week. I had so much fun, again, sharing all these reading adventures. If you'd like to see another Book a Day week series, please reach out to me and let you know that you enjoyed these. And click that subscribe button so I know that this is something you'd be interested in seeing more of. More videos, more frequently. Well, then, friends, until next time, I hope you enjoy your own reading adventures until we meet again. But until then, happy reading.